tell me for yourself if you think that this recipe nailed it or not because to me same thing and the thing is we really truly can eat all six of these donuts and have the same amount of calories as a regular glazed donut so what would you rather with 38 grams of protein or one lonely regular glazed donut let's get cooking Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making some glazed donuts because I searched on Google what's the most popular donut in America and the glazed donut came up. And then I researched it, figured out what are the key ingredients, the key textures and flavors of that donut and we figured out a way to make this donut low calorie, high protein, so that you can still eat your donuts. Even if you're on a weight loss journey, trying to build some muscle, trying to stick to a little bit of a healthier diet, but still got a craving sugar tooth that you want to feel satisfied. So these donuts are only 50 calories today. Who would have thought that was possible? I didn't, but then I played around, changed up some things and we figured it out. So I think we should just get into it. But first, hit me with a thumbs up if you like this video. Click that subscribe button if you're new. And if you're looking for a killer workout program, you're wanting all of my low calorie, high protein recipes, or you just wanna build some self-confidence, some self-belief in the fact that you can freaking crush all the goals that you want, then check out the description below because I got all of that in there. I'm gonna share all the macros, all the ingredients, all the measurements, so let's get into this. So when I was doing my research and trying to figure out what are like the key flavors, key ingredients that people use when they're making the glazed donut in the regular way, it was nutritional yeast, it was nutmeg, and some people use honey. So if you have regular vanilla protein powder, that is totally okay, but because I saw honey, I was like, honey, that would be so delicious. So I'm gonna use this One Up Nutrition Protein Powder. It's called Honey Graham Syrup. So if you happen to have any protein powder with honey or you wanna try this one out, highly suggest, because they are gonna turn out delicious. But if you only have vanilla, that is totally all right as well. And we're just gonna use one scoop. And trust me, if you use any protein powder that you really enjoy, it's gonna taste good in this recipe. So don't let this honey flavor stop you. We're at our first ingredient and we already spilled. <laughs> That's what you get when you're cooking with vanilla. Is it just me or anyone who gets their nails done can't open things? Okay, there we go. We got it. For our flour, you already know on this channel, I just love using my oatmeal because that's something we always have available. I feel like it's healthier. My body just really likes oatmeal, so I also just like cooking with it because I know my body just appreciates oatmeal. So that's what we're going to be using as flour for this recipe, but you can use whatever flour you want. Do not let this stop you. As you know, I'm just playing around, so you might as well play around as well. Maybe you figure out something that works better for you. But we're gonna use a third of a cup. And I'm pouring that into a blender, because we're gonna blend it into flour. Voila! And now we just pour that into the bowl. Next up, we got some nutritional yeast. As I said, that was one of the ingredients that I saw a lot of people use when they're making the glazed donut. And that's actually really macro friendly. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of that into our bowl. This is half a tablespoon. Oops. Now the last special glazed donut ingredient is gonna be nutmeg, ground nutmeg. So I'm gonna add one quarter of a teaspoon of that into our mix. For the liquid ingredients, is we're gonna add some applesauce into this. Uh, sometimes I use 100% pumpkin when I'm doing donuts. Sometimes I use applesauce. It just kind of depends on the mood. I just know some people who are in Europe don't have or can't find 100% pumpkin. So today we're gonna use applesauce. Just know you can mix it up if that's what you want. I'm going to use a quarter of a cup. And this applesauce is unsweetened. Little note. And of course we're adding a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon in this little mix. Oh my gosh, guys, you should be so excited for this. It's so good. And next up on the list, we got some egg whites, and I'm gonna add five tablespoons. Two more ingredients to go. So I'm gonna add some stevia, trulia, depending on what kind of sweetener you're using. I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons. They were a little bit sweet last time, so I'm gonna make them a little less sweet. Maybe you just want one if you don't want them too sweet. Up to you. No right or wrong around here. I don't know why I need to yell. I think you can clearly hear me when I speak normally, but I get a little excited when we're about to make some cake slash donut. Last up is our baking soda. I'm adding half a teaspoon, and then we gotta mix it up. 
I'll make some donuts. I got my six donut pan right here. So this recipe is gonna end up being six donuts. It's really easy to mix. Ooh, and always remember to turn on your oven. I always forget. Now you can add some cooking oil if you need. This is a stick-free pan, so I'm not gonna do that. And then just kind of be careful because it's kind of hard. Maybe you don't find this hard. I find it kind of hard. Let me tell you, it already tastes so freaking good. Is your favorite donut also the glazed donut or is it something else? Because if it's something else, I want to try and recreate it. So let me know. Let me know in the comments so I hopefully can recreate it. I think I pretty much managed to just like lick this bowl clean. So that's what we're going to mix our glaze in. And this glaze is a kind of a funny mixture and you can absolutely do this glaze however you want. You can use 0% fat Greek yogurt mixed with sugar-free factory vanilla jello or you can use protein powder mixed with light butter, mix that around. But I'm gonna make a little bit of a different kind of glaze today where we're gonna be using some swerve, which you can also use stevia or other kinds of swerve. I did different glazes and I tried this one out and I thought that for this recipe, it'd be kind of cool. I don't have a lot left. We're gonna use two tablespoons of swerve slash stevia slash whatever you want really. The two tablespoons of swerve and then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of sugar-free Zara glaze. <laughs> I forgot what it was called for a second. Oh my, oh my. We're just gonna mix that up and that's gonna be our glaze. Then we just gotta wait for our donuts. I can't wait. That's the hard part about baking. It's the waiting around. Remember to take them out in time because I left them in there for a little too long. So I left them in there for a little bit too long, but that's what you get when you're cooking with Prunelli. Like I've said so many times, I definitely am no cook. I'm no baker or anything like that. I'm just trying my best. And I make mistakes all the time, but that's what you hopefully eventually learn and grow from, right? I mean, actually by now you would think that I would know better, but eventually I will learn and I will grow, eventually. We'll let them cool off and then we're gonna glaze them. Also, the mess in the background, you really weren't supposed to see that. Let's glaze our donut. I'm just gonna pour them in there, mix them around. I think that's the simplest way to do it. You know, just give them a little, little turn around. Ooh, yeah. Actually, maybe not. We may have to need a spoon. We may have to. Actually, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we should just twirl them. I'm so confused. Last time I made them, they looked a little messy, so I'm really trying to find the best way here, and I haven't found it yet. If you know, let me know. Help a girl out. I am so excited to eat these. Like, just the smell. It's like pure glazed donut smell. This is the one up first. You may call me crazy. You're gonna have to tell me for yourself once you make these. But can you taste the difference? Because I don't think I can, other than the fact regular donuts are more oily. But I just think I like things better, not as oily. And the taste, the flavor, you can tell me for yourself if you think that this recipe nailed it or not. Because to me, same thing. And the thing is, we really truly can eat all six of these donuts and have the same amount of calories as a regular glazed donut. So what would you rather? With 38 grams of protein or one lonely regular glazed donut. It's up to you. <laughs> It's the classic glazed donut. Nuts. Mm. 50 calories? Can That's you believe it? it? Wow. With six grams of protein? Pretty good. If you're a donut lover, you gotta try them. You just gotta, you just gotta. But one thing, remember to also eat your veggies. Eat your veggies first and then go dig into your protein donuts because we all need that whole food situation in as well. The thing is, whether you're on a weight loss journey, you're trying to get in shape, you're trying to look a little bit more lean, you're trying to just really get into good habits, we all sometimes have that sweet tooth craving in. But 
that sugar tooth is gonna creep in. And when that happens, that's when we need to make the right decisions. And those right decisions could be a glazed R2 donuts from this recipe. I think the hardest thing is making the right decision when things get tough, when we really have that sweet tooth. And that's why I wanna make these recipes so that it gets more simple for you to make those choices because you still can satisfy that sugar tooth without losing everything that you've worked for. When you do feel like a sweet tooth, this might be the new your one. I really hope you want to try this recipe. I had fun making them with you. I hope you have fun watching. I hope you're ready to make these yourself because it's easy, it's simple. That's how we like it on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hit me with a thumbs up. If you like this video, click that subscribe button if you're new and sending a big hug and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!